All right, we're going to show you how to load a print driver for your Konica Minolta BizHub printer. We have it set up so you can go to our website and we have a quick link to all the different print drivers you might need. So our website, go to your web browser and go to csbscopiers.com. So that CSBS is in Common Sense Business Solutions. So csbscopiers.com, that's going to take you to our website. And once you're on our website, we have a tab called Tech Support, and you're going to want to select Downloads. And once you select Downloads, it's going to open right to where you can download the printer drivers. So you want to find the model of the printer that you have. So in this case, we're going to show you a Konica Minolta BizHub C364. If you had a different model, you would just choose the appropriate model and you click on that link. And it's going to open here and it's going to say download print drivers and it's just got the symbol for whether you have a Macintosh or a PC. In this video, we're going to show you on a PC, but it's very similar if you have a Macintosh. If you're a Mac user, I'm sure you can walk through it with these same instructions. So we're going to click on the PC symbol and it's going to open to the page where you can actually get the driver. So it's going to ask you now what operating system you're using. So you're going to scroll down if you're on Windows and if you're on Windows 7, it's usually going to be a 64-bit. In my case, I'm on Windows 8 64-bit. So depending on your computer, you would just find the right operating system and you would click on that. And when you click on it, you scroll down a little further, and you'll see this here. And you're going to want to click on the PCL tab. So we click on PCL tab. And now what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the first zip file right at the top. That's the most recent one. So you just go ahead and you click on that. And see down here in the bottom, it's going to say, do you want to open or save? And let's go ahead and just open it because we're going to load this print driver right now. This is the part where you have a little bit of waiting. It really just depends on how fast your computer is and how fast your download speed. But this is the most, um, you know, the biggest delay and the, takes the most time in loading the print driver. So you'll see right down here it's telling us how much time is remaining. So there's about 50 seconds. So while it's doing this, um, you know, I'll go ahead and just share that when this opens, it's going to just walk us through a series of different steps and the whole process maybe takes another minute or two. And after you're done loading the print driver, you have the ability to set up different defaults. So you might want your print driver to be set up so that everything you print is in black and white and not color. Um, we do have videos in our instructional video area and it does show you how to change defaults on print drivers. It will also show you how to make different settings, for instance, if you're printing on envelopes and things like that. So again, we have a whole series of these instructional videos um, under our tech support menu. So we're almost done now. We're getting down to the last 15 seconds or so. Once that's done, it's going to open up a dialog box and then we're going to extract the file and I'll show you how to do that. It's like watching water boil. It's always fun watching a timer count down, especially when you're on video. All right, so that's just finished and now it's opened the dialog box. It shows that it has a driver folder and the first thing we want to do is we want to go up to where it says extract all and just click on extract all and now you can't see I have a two screen monitor here so it's on my other screen but it's saying extract and I clicked on extract and now it's extracting it and this usually takes a few seconds so um, gonna let it complete its thing. I just told it to replace the file it already has because I do actually already have this print driver. It's asking me if I wanted to replace it since I'm loading the same print driver again for the purpose of making this video. So it's extracting the files in that folder. It has now completed that 
And now that it's completed that, we come back over to our dialog box and we double click on the driver folder. We then come down to where it says Setup 64 and we click on that document. It's going to ask me, do I want to trust this document or website? I'm going to say yes, I do want to trust that. And now it's going to go ahead and say, do I agree to the terms? I'm going to agree. Then I'm going to select Next. And what it's doing now is it's searching for the printer. So if you're on the same wireless system as the printer, which is necessary to load this driver, it's going to go out and it's going to search your, you know, your wireless system and it's going to look for the printer. So this is usually going to take anywhere from 15 to 30 seconds. It really just depends on how many different things you have on your system. In this case, it found two different printers because we're a printer company. So I'm going to leave a check mark in the printer that I want to load the driver for. And in most cases, you're only going to have one option. So I'm going to load the driver on the C364 and I'm going to select Next. Now there's three different boxes. In almost all cases, you're only going to want the check mark for the one that's labeled PCL at the end. So we have that check mark, so we're going to say Next, and then we're going to say Install. And it doesn't take long to install. Again, the amount of time really varies on how fast your computer and network is, but we have finished installing this. But before we click Finish, um, the printer has a pretty long file name when you're looking for it in your printers and devices. I like to hit Rename Printer, and I usually call it just the BizHub C. 364, just shorten the name, make it a little bit easier. You also can go ahead and hit print test page. It says the test page has been sent. I don't know if you can hear it in the video, but I can hear in the other room that the test page is coming out of the printer. And at this point you are done. I will expand this just a little bit and say you have the ability to go to print setting. You do not need to do this. The driver is finished installing, but if I go to print setting, two things that you might want to do. One is you can go to the Layout tab up here at the top and if I click Layout you'll see that the print type when you first download the driver it's defaulted to print everything two-sided. Most people want the default to be one-sided so I can click one-sided and then I can say OK. But one other setting before you hit OK that many people change is if I come up here to the Quality tab and I click on Quality, notice that the default is set to Auto Color. And that means if you have a document that has color on it, it's going to print that document in color. In most cases, you're paying more when you produce a color print than a black and white print. So some companies like to click this down arrow change the default to grayscale, which means everything you print will come out in black and white unless you manually go into the properties when you're printing and select color. In my case, I want the default to be auto color, so I'm going to leave it here. I already changed the layout to one sided. I'm going to say OK. And now I'm going to finish the install. When I finish the install, my default set to one sided printing. So I hit finish. And we have successfully loaded a Konica Minolta C364 print driver.